You have RNG Jesus blessing you today. Okay, so I'm gonna open like eight of these orbs. We need a purple on the middle, or a blue on the middle, and the gold on the sides. But the blue in the middle needs to be that pool or uh, or whichever is the other character that is featured. Okay, we have a purple in the middle. Wow. Is that a bait? We're gonna open a few more orbs because it could be a, a bait seed. Oh man, okay, I don't know. Okay, I think it's time. Here we go. I'm gonna open 1-7, I think. Let's see. 1-7 for Sylvie. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Oop. 7 Minerva. I already have 7 on Minerva. Okay, here we go. Second attempt. 3, 2, 1. 7 on Tor. I already have 7 on Tor. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> seven on crystal. Okay, that's not trash. That's not trash. I don't mind seven on crystal because she she's actually quite great. Should I open another seven on Sylvie? I think Sylvie is one of the characters that will have the most value outside of Raid. So maybe we'll try another seven. Okay, here we go. Second seven of the day. Iron Feast, okay, okay, that's a little bit lame. Okay, skip the, the sevens. We are done with the sevens, let's go for the fives. I think it's time for the fives. Sylvie's not showing up on my on my stream today. If I get her at five, that's fine too. Okay, five on Polaris. If you get to six, uh, uh, we'll open the other one. Okay, six red stars on Sylvie, there we go. I think we are done for today, right? I think we are done for today. Six red stars on Sylvie. Let's go. What's up, guys? We are to give you another Marvel Strike Force video. And in this video, we're going to talk about uh, Sylvie and the Bifrost team. Is this a team that you should build? Is this a team that uh, if you are going to take them for raids, do you have to bring the full team? Can you cut corners? Can you save some of the ISO 8 blue level 4 that is required to participate with this team in raids? The answer is probably yes. We're going to see which options we have available and which decisions you can make in order to save your resources. Because at this point in time, ISO 8 blue level 4 is still a very rare resource. We can get a tiny bit from Cosmic Crucible, a tiny bit from Alliance Wars, but at the end of the day, for people that are still going through the journey of obtaining Apocalypse and especially getting the big Apocalypse, the ISO 8 blue level 4 is going to be a very important resource. So as I mentioned, if you can cut any corners on these raid teams, that would be great, as long as we are not compromising the experience, right? Okay, so we're going to talk about all of that in this video. We're going to take a look at Sylvie in action and the Bifrost as well. We're going to talk about ISO 8 options in this video as well. What we are not going to talk about is Bifrost outside of raids. That's a very complex topic that we need more than 20 minutes to talk about for sure. So it's not going to be included in this video. So. We're going to take a look at uh, Sylvie in action, we're going to talk about T4's ISO 8 and the usual. And as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure to share it to your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Mouse Strike Force content. And make sure to smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so starting off with the ISO 8 for Sylvie. And you can also talk about my infographic. I made these. Info, I always do these infographics for each of the teams. There is the first impressions version and there is the final version. Unfortunately, this team is extremely complex when it comes to ISO 8 and when it comes to game modes. So the final version of this infographic is still not available. You can see that right here that uh, Sylvie in terms of T4s requires a lot of T4s or at least a lot of T4s are good for her. But based on my first experience with this character now in action on the live server i would say that you probably only need the special and the ultimate let's take a look at these t4s and see why 
So with the special, you are always having the stun, and this is very important, right? The more stuns you have, the better. And this is a turn one ability. So having a stun early on is extremely important. Now for raids, the ultimate is the ability that we are going to do first, and it's going to do more damage, and it's also going to turn one the enemies based on how many Bifrost characters you have, plus 15%. So that alone is quite decent, even if you don't have any Bifrost allies, this ultimate is still going to be quite impactful, but of course the more Bifrost characters you have, the better it becomes. So those are two very important efforts because they change the way on how this character works and they give you additional utility. Now in terms of the basic, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't use the basic often enough to be relevant, I actually had like to force myself to use the basic, maybe it's because of the team that I use it, we'll see that in a second. And then the passive T4, it's definitely a skippable T4. It applies more bleeds in raids for uh, characters that you are attacking. On difficulty 4, which is the difficulty most people are doing, it's not a big deal, it's not important at all, especially if you have our Sylvie at uh, two yellow stars or even three yellow stars, it's not going to matter. The damage is just not impactful enough. In terms of the isolate, weight, in my opinion, it's very, very important that Sylvie lands the slow and flips the speed up on the enemies. And it's also very important that she lands the stun. Together with Loki, she has very high focus. Is it enough? I don't know. It's up to you to decide if she has enough focus or not. I like consistency. I like a good experience. And uh, sometimes if you are using other types of ISO weight, you don't get that consistent experience. In terms of Raider, once again, the damage from Sylvie is not that important, as you will see in a second. And in terms of the Striker, the Striker will turn you on the enemies for 3% uh, uh, plus, 3% per Bifrost ally. If you're not using the full team, the value of the striker will be lower. And on top of that, like I mentioned, it's not like I did the basic attack multiple times. And even the isolate attack, because Sylvie is quite fast at the beginning of the match, but then she slows down. You are in a situation where you might not have enough vulnerabilities or because Val consumed those vulnerabilities or because some other character consumed those vulnerabilities. So are, we are in this situation where uh, Skirmisher, Raider and Striker are okay options. It all depends on how your team is set up because in one way you might not have enough vulnerabilities, in another way you might not have enough focus and in another way you might just not have a consistent experience. We are going to use Sylvie at level 80. Yes, we're going to use Sylvie at level 80 on difficulty 4 with the gear tier 15. Three yellow stars, three red stars, isolate blue level 4, skirmisher, and that's pretty much it. And once again, the only T4s that really, really matter are the special and the ultimate, the basic and the passive. You can definitely skip until you start doing higher difficulties of the raids like difficulty 5 or probably only with difficulty 6 when those C4s will start becoming important. Okay, now let's take a look at some gameplay of Sylvie in action and see what is she able of doing and what kind of benefits she provides to the team. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Sylvie in action with the Mystic team that I think you should use. It's my opinion, if you want to save Isolate Blue level 4, if you want to save resources, gearing up characters and so on, I think this is the team that you should use, but let me know in the comments below what kind of teams you are using. This is going to be one shot on all nodes, first try, first kill, so the cuts that we'll have in between the nodes will just be for the sake of saving time. Either way, let's take a look at this first attack, and the team that I'm going to use is Deadpool. Yes, I'm still going to use Deadpool, because why not? I use a Deadpool and Morgan Le Fay for Apocalypse, right? We need to unlock those characters for Apocalypse. And then I brought along Sylvie and uh, Val and Loki. In my opinion, these are the only three characters that really, really matter. 
Valley's original character, so probably she will be required for Mephisto, also at Azoite Blue level 4, or maybe even at Azoite Blue level 5. And the Sylvie and Loki, it's really the only characters that matter. One good, one good thing about Sylvie and Loki is that they use the power of the enemies against themselves without the mind controls. Because Sylvie goes so early and because she's a skirmisher, she can apply vulnerabilities to the characters you want to apply. And then we can benefit of that with uh, with Morgan Le Fay and also with Val. You can see that now we have this stun. This stun is extremely important. We already have additional energy on uh, Sylvie. And that's something that is really crazy about this combination of characters is the amount of energy that is flowing everywhere. So we have Deadpool giving energy. We have Val and uh, Loki, I guess, I don't know, giving energy as well. It's, it's quite crazy on how fast the abilities of this team charge up. Mind control on Psylocke, you have to pay attention to Psylocke because she is gonna be the one that is gonna mess you up because she can she can transfer all the negative effects from the enemies to your team. So I'm gonna use the special here of Val. Like, I don't even have to use the ultimate of Val. It's like, it's so overkill that is really unnecessary so my loki and my sylvie they are both at level 80 and they are surviving just fine loki is quite amazing because of all these evades that he applies to the team then val she can revive characters in case they die so as you can see like do we need any other character this is such a, a smooth experience like you don't need any kind of crazy strategies in order to beat these and look at uh, the amount of gold we are saving, right? We are saving gold because we are using two less characters. And we are also saving gold with a level 80 Loki and Sylvie, which is just remarkable. So at this point, I was just checking out which uh, attack to use in order to have full energy. Loki has full energy, Sylvie has full energy. And we have to be honest, you don't even have to save energy for Sylvie because she gets 10 energy on spawn, which is crazy. Okay, let's take a look at the second node. We're going to use exactly the same team. We didn't have to heal any of the characters. Once again, we are using two characters at level 80, which is crazy. Sylvie with Skirmisher Eyes Await. She died right away. What can we do? You cannot do a lot. What you can do here is to get rid of Black Bolt as fast as possible. That's the strategy get rid of Black Bolt as fast as possible. Then, because we didn't use the ultimate of Val on the previous attack, we can revive right away the characters that we need. Then with the Deadpool, you can use her basic or whichever ability you want. Just make sure that she has four charges when you are going for the boss node. Okay, here I'm going to apply ability block to Squirrel Girl or, uh, okay, I play to Gambit. Okay, we're going to apply those vulnerabilities to Gambit. It's not super important to deal with uh, Squirrel Girl because you can see that she has the slow with drama and that's going to be fine. Okay, so Sylvie now with defense up and with those dead proofs, that's going to be fine too. You want to stun one of the Gambits to make sure that Sylvie stays alive. She's going to die for the second time. Guess what? It's not going to matter. You're going to revive her. And every time she revives, she's going to get 10 energy. So you have another stun and you have another ultimate to use with, with Sylvie. It's just so freaking dumb. Okay, so we deleted one of the gambits. We're going to go for the second. We have all those characters with ability block. Uh, we have all these characters with trauma. We have all these characters with disrupt. I was even confused. What am I supposed to use here? Like the team is just so overpowered that I don't even know what to use. So both Squirrel Girls, they have... Uh, Ability block for one or two turns. And the only thing that you want to do really is to attack the characters with uh, attack the characters with uh, the exposed. If you are attacking those characters, if you have a lot of energy to use our characters around, you are good to go. Look at Sylvie. She she spawns with uh, deflects, she spawns with death proofs, she spawns with evades, and you are good to go. It's really so ridiculous that we can use this revive mechanic in order to bring her back, even with the gambits destroying her. So the only thing you really have to worry about is the Black Bolt, and that's pretty much it. Okay, now you're going to do the boss node. Are we going to be able to do the boss node? I'm not sure, man. Okay, so a good thing about this team that we are using, Deadpool is going to give speed bar to all Mystic Allies, 30%, as you guys just saw. And then Loki also gives 10% speed bar for Sylvie, 
and a 10% speed water for uh, Morgan Le Fay. So that means that means that you can even stop the the Kang. You're gonna stop the Kang before he goes. It's ridiculous. You get so much speed water. Okay, then we're gonna apply that ability block with uh, Val. You see, I I didn't even add the ultimate of Val ready, and we are good to go. Kang goes with his basic because we ability block him. And if you summon the minions from Loki, they're gonna have taunt. I'm not sure if he apply. From the footage I saw in the past, they didn't add taunt. I'm not sure if this is something they changed or not, but it's quite amazing. So with Sylvie, we are going to apply stun to Kang, but I think that's a mistake. You should apply stun to Titania because she's applying slow to all our characters. So Kang is not, you don't have to worry about Kang, just ability block and slow him and that's fine. So make sure you stop Titania from applying slow to your characters as that can compromise your team more than anything Kang can do with the ability block and trauma. Okay, so other character you have to worry about is this Psylocke. So you want to make sure that you finish it off as fast as possible or that you stun her. So here I had the ultimate of Sylvie. I had the stun of Sylvie. I didn't know exactly how much speed warp Psylocke has. I, I could see now that I could uh, play safe, not to worry about her. And because you are using Morgan of Fae, and because you are using mind control on the enemies, we don't have to use the one-shot ability of Deadpool on Kang. We can save it for for the Cersei, and that's going to be even easier. Okay, so I don't know. Like this is so ridiculous easy. You really they don't have to worry about anything. So Val with the big damage attacking Icarus. Now you're going to do the chain attack with Sylvie. Get some more energy. Do some more turning wind. Icarus has trauma. Icarus has uh, dozens of negative effects is just so ridiculous and uh, look at this like uh, this is my first time using this team i didn't i didn't have access to the test server and you are just shredding to this boss node with any concern with literally no concerns and we still have one minute left on the clock so this is extremely impressive okay so it's conclusion time by Frost, what are you supposed to do with this team? If you can get them to gear tier 15, that would be great because that will allow you to get a lot of Isolate Blue level 4 from the event that is going on right now. What The only thing you need is to unlock all characters and to have them at gear tier 15. So that's a little bit of an investment, but you're getting a total of... Uh, 3, 3 million, 3.5 million isolate blue level 4, which is quite great. Then to use these characters in raids, the characters that I really recommend, Sylvie, Loki and Val, bare minimum level 80 and gear tier 15, the same thing. Val, you want to take her as big as possible because you're going to use her on Dark Dimension 5 and Dark Dimension 6 as well. So it's not a big deal. Now, Crocodile Loki and better reveal just forget about these characters because they are completely irrelevant in terms of the mystic nodes and we are doing this with a two or three yellow star sylvie if you get these characters a little bit higher with yellow stars you can probably sim the nodes and if you don't sim the nodes you are still beating them so fast that okay it's not sim but it's pretty fast as well if you want to fully sim the mystic nodes then yes you should definitely invest on the bifrost team how much i'm not really sure maybe level 85 and uh, and gear t15 or maybe level 90 and gear t15 and you can save your teal mystic gear for something else because we still have amazing characters out there that are mystic right we still have the eternals we still have dormammu we still have uh, quicksilver all these characters that at some point we need to invest and they are mystic so you could definitely save resources on your raid teams and apply them somewhere else so i mean that's a quite impressive showcase of sylvie loki and val once again the other characters don't really matter and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video this is for raids when it comes to other game modes we're going to be testing out within the next couple of days weeks and so on trying to figure out what's the best method in order to use these characters in alliance wars 
and the Cosmic Crucible in order for you to perform at the top because uh, Loki right now he opens a lot of doors not only for Sylvie but also for other Mystic controllers okay guys so that's going to be the video I hope you guys enjoy it do you have to invest on the full Bifrost team definitely not it's all up to you if you want to sim or not but even if you don't sim you are beating these nodes extremely quick and you're gonna save so many resources so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you found the video helpful make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more Mobstrike Force content and I'll catch you guys later